Check this place out. This is a, this is like an apartment. I found this place as I was going through uh, this area. I saw a sign for a Holiday Inn, and I was thinking, Holiday Inn, it's probably like a, you know, your typical one bedroom kind of rooms in, in a hotel. And so I stopped here. It was kind of an area that was off the map. It was like a really, really new area. You could see here that uh, these are all uh, fairly new uh, apartment complexes. But down at the main road there, there's a Holiday Inn Express sign and, and business. And so I was getting to about 100 kilometers of my ride, so I figured I'd, I, I'd better find a place to stop. And there was no real place listed on my apps for a place to stay. So I stopped and I asked him how much uh, for a room. He said like 138, which is like 20 US dollars for the night, which I thought wasn't bad. So I said, okay, I'll take it. This is the bathroom. And uh, he ended up bringing me into the apartment complex and brought me to this like literal apartment. It's got a kitchen, two bedrooms, bath, a balcony, for 20 bucks, not bad. So I, uh, I, I went here last night. Nice day out. Today we will be in Shenzhen. And we'll be there through the weekend until Monday when I can get my uh, visa for uh, Vietnam and Hong Kong. But yeah, this is interesting. There was really only one problem with this place. And it was on mosquitoes. These freaking mosquitoes here. They are relentless and they're stealth. They're so quiet, you can't hear them. Like at least, at least you can get that telltale in most places. But these things, I don't know the shape of their wings or whatnot, but they are quiet. The only time you know they're there is when you start scratching. I killed three in my bedroom. There must have been a couple more because they kept biting me. It was like a horror movie. I was tucked in like this, looking around. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's get back on the road. Ciao, yo. big road now it's like a highway but it's got a dedicated bike lane which is really nice for me it's a smooth new pavement concrete not bad hello I thought those guys were waiting for me I saw them pulling off to the side slowing down So much construction here, it's incredible. I mean, structures like this going up everywhere. I mean, everywhere, everywhere, wherever, like, like little cities being built as far as the eye can see. It's pretty incredible. Shenzhen is one of the most populous cities in uh, China, so it's not a surprise that they're building, but building to this extent is pretty uh, incredible. And a lot of times they're building with the expectation that they're going to be filled, you know. I've seen some complexes, like I saw earlier, you know, abandoned because the expectation was not quite uh, right. This whole area, these are all newish buildings.
Hello. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Ciao. Look at that sign, guys. Welcome to Shenzhen. We are here. Last time I rode under this sign with a trike, it was a number of years ago, and I was on my way to a car accident. <laughs> I didn't even realize I didn't it. Go, I didn't go through this very entry though. I went through uh, an entry uh, inlet, but still, I'm crossing into Shenzhen. Big step, big step. You don't have to be smart. No need to dress up for me to see. You're a good man. You're a good man. Folks, I've finally been able to catch my breath. I've been riding in the middle of downtown for the better part of a two hours, maybe hour and a half. I actually, actually enjoy riding in downtown. All the cars moving around you, the bus drivers waving at you. Everybody's kind of like aware you're there. I feel very comfortable riding around because I'm always making eye contact with all the drivers. I can anticipate things are going to happen. I'm very aware, which is why I wasn't recording back then. I feel like I can record now. Some of those bus drivers, really we have a funny relationship because they'll go up ahead they'll stop and then i'll pass them up and then they'll come back they'll pass me up again and then they'll stop and then i'll pass them up and then they'll pass me up and then i'll pass them up so we get to know each other pretty well all right back to work talk to you later a little bit wide for some of these openings the bicycles can get through but I find them a little snug that one's okay this one might be a bit too much though a bit much This must be a Chinese wholesale market for Christmas. I'm trying to liquidate all the Christmas stuff before uh, it's too late to ship it over to the United States or wherever in the world the buyer is. Bye bye bye. Can be romantic, sipping coffee under the apple tree. This gentle manly. Well, you're a good man. Quite the best. All right, guys. 90 kilometers on the nose it is four o'clock we've arrived early on my normal arrival times recently at least so i'm gonna settle in take a shower relax and catch up with you guys later maybe or end it i don't know if you see me later you see me later if you don't you'll see the relive video right now
Next time on the Jayo Vlog. So when I came to uh, Shenzhen a long, long time ago. Four years ago, bro. Man, do I, do I look any different? He has a I scar. I got a scar. I got a, a scar. scar. <laughs> Couple of broken bones. I've had broken bones. John here. And, and John, John reaches over and he grabs a handful of my ass.